Well, Gunn's shares shot up 36% on the news. Billionaire Richard Chandler will inject $150 million into the forestry company. The Kiwi tycoon rarely gives interviews and is listed in the world's top 300 billionaires. But relatively little is known about the man whose investment could turn Gunn's future around. Tyson Shine reports. Richard Chandler showed his business prowess at the age of 24 when he took over his family's upmarket department store. Working with his brother Christopher, Chandler's house expanded from one store to ten. High standards, you know, they expected a lot from their employees and they expected them to, to come up to the mark, but they weren't, um, they didn't hold themselves apart at all. It was the Chandler's investment in high-risk ventures that helped turn their millions into billions. Pouring money into the struggling Japanese banking system, the brothers turned $600 million into a little over $2.5 billion in just three years. It's results like that that gained Chandler a panellist spot at the Forbes Europe. CEO conference and in the peak of the global now. financial crisis. Asia is going to be the opportunity, and while bottom fishing and distressed investing could yield high returns in Europe and the United States, catching a falling knife can sometimes be very harmful. Distressed investing is what Richard Chandler is all about, buying in during a low and rebuilding. Some may think the elephant in his emblem is a symbol of luck, but that's not the case for the 53-year-old. The elephant, archer and star represent strength, truth and stability. Some analysts say that's where his links to animals ends. I can't uh, necessarily comment on, on his business styles, but uh, certainly nobody becomes very rich by, uh, by being a pussycat. Forbes magazine listed Chandler in the world's top 300 billionaires last year. Time will tell if his deal with guns will boost that rating.